uh, such a function of immunoglobulins and antibodies part two. So difference in isotypes. So the isotypes are antigenic determinants that characterize characterize classes and subclasses of heavy chains and types and sublight types of light chains. If human IgM is injected into a rabbit, the rabbit will recognize antigenic determinants on the heavy chain and light chain and make antibodies to them. If that antiserum is absorbed with human IgG, the antibodies to light chain determinants and any determinants in common between human IgM and IgG will be removed and the resulting antiserum will react only if IgM. Indeed, the antibodies will only react with the constant region of the microchain. Antibodies to the variable region are there perhaps only because a few copies of each different variable region are represented in the IgM and thus effective immunization does not occur. The determinants that are, the, the determinants that are recognized by such antibodies are called isotopic determinants and antibodies to those anti determinants are called anti-isotopic antibodies. Each class, subclass, type and subclass of immunoglobulin it has its unique set of isotopic determinants. These are so the hybrid chain isotypes are, are found on the FC portion of the constant region of the molecule, while light chain isotypes are found in the constant region. So isotypes are all found in the normal individuals in the species. The, the prefix iso means same in all members of the species. Some individuals have immunodeficiencies may lack one or more isotypes, but normal individuals have all isotypes. Antibody isotypes are used for the quantification quantification of immunoglobulin classes and subclasses in various diseases. In the characterization of B cell leukemia and in the diagnosis of various immunodeficiency diseases. Let's move on to allotypes. So, allotypes are classified as antigenic determinants specified by the allelic forms of the immunoglobulin genes. Allotypes represent slight differences in amino acid sequences of heavy or light chains of different individuals. Even a single amino acid difference can give rise to an allotypic determinant, although in many cases there are several amino acid substitutions that have occurred. Allotypic differences are detected by using antibodies directed against allotypic determinants. These antibodies can be prepared by injecting the immunoglobulin from one person into another. However, in practice, an anti allotype antecedent is obtained from women who have had multiple pregnancies or from people who have received blood transfusions or from some patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Within humans, the allotypic differences are localized to a constant region of the heavy and light chains. Individual allotypes are found in individual members of the species. All allotypes are found in all members of the species. The prefix allo means difference in individuals of a species. Co-dominant autosomal genes. Allotypes represent amino acid substitutions at the same position in a heavy or light chain, GM1, GM3 or KM3 are inherited as co-dominant autosomal genes. So human immunoglobulin allotypes are named on the basis of the heavy or light chain which is located. Thus an allotype on a gamma 1 heavy chain is given the name GM13. An allotype on a kappa, kappa light chain is given the name KM1. Although in a heterozygote, both alleles express an individual immunoglobulin molecule only have one allotype. This is because an individual B cell can only express one allele. This is called allelic exclusion. Allotypes that represent amino acid substitutions at different locations in a molecule G G1M1 and G1M17, for example, can be found in the same molecule. This is this has quite a severe importance due to the monitoring of bone grafts, forensic medicine, pretended testing. Bone marrow grafts that produce a different allotype from the recipient can be used to monitor the graft. KM and GM allotypes are detectable in blood stains and semen are useful in forensic medicine. The immunoglobulin type allotypes are one of the characteristics used in legal cases involving paternity. So looking at ideal types, so these are unique antigen determinants present on individual antibody molecules and molecules of identical specificity. Identical specificity means that all antibody molecules have the exact same hypervariable regions. Antigen determinants created by the combining set of antibodies are called ideal types and the antibodies elicited to ideal types are called anti-ID antibodies. Ideal types are the antigenic determinants created by the hypervariable regions of an antibody, and the anti ideal type uh, antibodies are those directed against the hypervariable regions of an antibody. So, ideal types are localized on the fab fragment of the Ig molecules. Specifically, they are localized at or near the hypervariable regions of the heavy and light chains. In many instances, the actual antigenic determinant, the ideal type, may include some of the framework residues near the hypervariable region. Ideal types are usual determinants created by both the heavy and light chains, HVR, although some are isolated heavy and light chain chains, which follows the ideal type. So there's also an importance for V region marker. So ideal types are a useful marker for a particular variable region. There's evidence that the immune responses may be regulated by anti-ideal type antibodies directed against their own ideal types, regulation of immune responses. And for vaccines, in some cases, anti-ideal antibodies actually stimulate B cells to make antibodies and thus they can be used as a vaccine. 
This approach has been tried to immunise against highly dangerous pathogens that cannot be used safely as a vaccine.